the current schools that they are at. But uh, let's dive into UFC 251 for just a few minutes here. Chris, did you end up watching it Saturday night? I did. And, and you're like the third person I heard was like, oh, that was so boring. So I liked it. I actually really enjoyed it. One thing I was pissed off about, I guess I didn't do the math on what it was going to be like, but Fight Island is stupid. Like, Fight Island is the dumbest thing on earth if you're not going to fight on the island where I can see it. You're fighting, like, a blacked-out room. Yeah. And that's really dumb. I wanted to fight on the beach. And then I realized, oh, yeah, it's like 110-degree heat index there. They can't fight out there. Yeah, they, they can't fight out there. However, but, they but can practice. Why did you they buy can... an island for you to fight on if if you're not going to use the beauty of the island? Why build a a ring by the ocean. Well, here's, okay, so I don't know if... The sea, I guess, not the ocean. Anybody that wasn't paying attention, over there, they are nine hours ahead, right? 7 a.m. in the morning. So it was incredibly early in the morning. However, they were working on U.S. time. So the fight started at 9 p.m. Central Time or or whatever time it was. It did not end until after 1 o'clock in the morning. It was insane. They didn't even get into the octagon until, you know, well after... Midnight, central. and so yeah. and it was insane. I, or eleven central, yeah. No, no, it was it was after midnight central. Like what? that's what, yeah. It was it was after oh, midnight. Man. It was insane because all of these fights went for freaking ever. It set an all time. Yeah, nobody finished anybody. Yeah, it, it was an all time record. Even even the like eight of the thirteen fights went the distance through yeah. the whole card. Like that's prelims the and everything. Card. But, and, but and two to like Fight Island fights, like the, the pay-per-view fights, it, they all went the distance. Two of those, well, no, the, the first one did not go the distance. Uh, the first one was an arm bar. That and that was uh, Rebus oh, against yeah, the, uh, the Pace fighting, right? That's yeah. the first one in the fight. First one, and it ended in like two minutes. However, right. two of the fights that did not go the distance went into the final round and finished with less than two minutes remaining in the fight. Yeah, I mean, it matter. was insane. Um, let's see... Da, 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 uh, but I actually I did enjoy the fights. I thought the judges got one fight glaringly wrong with a holiday the, the fight. Holloway fight, yeah. Holloway fight, yeah. That that that's it. But the, other than that, you know, now I lost money on that, so I'm a little bitter. But they they absolutely got it wrong, regardless of if I lost money or not. They they got it big wrong. Yeah, I mean it, it was it was incredible. Look, I had uh, Volkanovski in that fight, and and I think it was scored wrong. Like, I, oh, I, it made no sense to me. I thought Holloway won those first three rounds, and it wasn't even close. And it then the fourth close. one he, The was, fourth round, I think he lost. But the, that was yeah, it. the fourth round, but even that one was questionable. And it was obviously, still close. It was I think still the, real close. I think the fifth one was obviously Volkanovski's because he, he knew he had to get a win. He had to get a, win. Yeah, he he had had to to get a knockout. And so, he didn't come close. And all Holloway was doing was coasting at the end of the fight. but Because yeah, he thought he had three rounds that just don't get finished. Yeah, I, I really... I, that's that's why you don't just coast. I, like, I don't know that you wanted to talk about this. Can we talk about some of the prelim flights that happened on uh, ESPN? That yeah, yeah, go ahead. Watched? Go ahead. So I didn't get a chance to watch uh, I, a I, lot I of them. I have no idea but... who any of these two people are, okay, by the way. So I'm, I'm going to do the worst way in the world of describing this. <laughs> there, there was a fight between two fighters. One was, like, European. One was Hispanic, probably okay. South American, something of that nature. The European guy... Hits the South and they stop the fight three different times because he hits him in the nuts. The official, because there's no crowd, you can hear everything, is yelling at the dude, you got to stay off his cock. You got to stay off his cock. He finally <laughs> brings him over to his corner to get like his corner man. To, you have to translate. Tell him to stay off his cock. Hearing an official use that phrasing is the funniest thing in the world to me. Oh, 100%. I, the sophomore in me was laughing hysterically at him yelling at this guy for hitting him in the dick. Yeah. Then then I thought I, I learned rules. When you get hit in the dick, you get five minutes to recover. Yep. That's, getting hit in the nuts sucks. Oh, yeah. Five minutes is a long time. This fight lasted forever because they had to keep stopping over and over. Every time they'd stop it, he kept bringing the – this is the official now, the referee – kept bringing the doctor in. What's he going to do? Is he going to pull it out and rub on it for him? Like, he got hit in the dick. We know it hurts. Yes. What are you doing? So I, <laughs> I've come up with this philosophy that they need to go to immediately. You hit somebody in the nuts twice. And, uh, and it's an automatic one, DQ. No, forget that. They get a free 
a free nut shot on you. You're this way, spread eagle. They can hit you, kick you, do anything they want to your growing whatsoever, or you can walk away. You can throw the towel in. You cannot take the shot in the nuts and say, I quit. But that's happening. That's, that's interesting. And hell, I, and I like that idea. Five minutes. I'm going to get to kick you in the dick. Then we're going to separate, and then we're going to restart this fight. Yeah. Hang yeah. on. From the time I was sending you guys, all the Westlight guys knew the group text, the tweet, the text about him getting hit in the nuts three different times. In that moment, it took me to take type that text. He poked the guy in the eye and had an illegal knee to the temple. Yeah. They it's, took it's away insane. so many points to where the South American fighter, all he had to do was just not get finished, and he was going to win on points no matter what. But the problem is, is after the knee to the temple, the illegal knee, I was like, I think this guy's going to lose this fight because he can't hang on. Yeah. That was the most entertaining fight in the world because I learned so many different things. And then I came up with like new rules. And, and I think that's amazing. Yeah. No, 100%. I never thought when that day started, I was going to listen to an official tell another man, you have to stay off his cock. Yes. Yeah. I, I was not expecting to hear that. Matt Miller jumps in. He said, so Chris is pro castration, duly noted. <laughs> I don't know that that's pro castration. <laughs> it's not. You hit it's somebody not. in the dick three times, Damian, they should be able to hit you back in the dick. Damian jumps in, said, watching Fight Club was more interesting than the UFC this weekend. And Joseph Gomez said, Dana White cashing Abu Dhabi checks. Yeah, that's that's why they're doing Fight Island over the air. Uh, that, oh, that's the whole God. thing. They're, they're cashing I checks. I, didn't, I felt like I was hoodwinked when I realized, when are they going to fight outside? When am I going to see this ring? When am I going to see this ring? And we were about midway through the fight before I realized, Oh, this it's is just what it is. Degrees over there, we're not seeing this ring. No, we, it's it's Fight Island, so that they can have the fights, like so they don't have to worry about anything. It's it's being regulated and whatnot by that country over there, the United Arab Emirates. So that's why it was going on. But to get back into the main card, uh, the Jessica Andrade Thug Rose fight was fantastic. That was great fight. obvious great fight, and it went great the distance. Fight. But that was that was great. Um, the Volkanovski fight against Holloway. Pretty good fight. I mean, it, it, was it wasn't fight. super it was good. Fight. They just got it wrong. It was a really yeah. good fight. I, I actually liked all the fights. I thought it was a good a good night of fighting. I enjoyed it. The um, I'm missing one. What's the oh the Peter Yan fight, uh, where he finished Jose Aldo, the refs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing where he did not call the fight. That referee should absolutely. Yeah. Be checked out. They need to have an investigation into that because it, no, it I, seemed I, like we, he we wanted him to I had die. A bunch of guys over and oh, a few guys over, not a bunch of guys, and and we all watched and we were all like, "He gonna stop this thing?" Literally, all four of us at some point in time before it was stopped said, "When's he gonna stop this?" Yeah, it was. That one was pretty bad. I, I really wanted that was one of those heart ones. You know how I always like Cowboy, but because Cowboy's so tough, he fights all these dudes that are way better than him and in their prime, and he's past his prime now. I just wanted Aldo to do well, and he he's just past his prime now, which, which is he's, crazy because he's only what like thirty two or thirty four. Yeah, but like he's he's, he's a not lot that of fights, yeah. man. He's he's been it, it's like running back years. You know, you can yeah. you can be a lot younger than some of these other guys, but. Your prime is gone, and theirs is still in. If if you go back and watch uh, our preview from last Wednesday before I before I left to go out of town for a couple of days, uh, I I called every fight correctly. Like I, now, I bet yeah, all on, the favorites won. Not a single the, dog yeah. lost. Um, Masvidal was the one that I I bet on Masvidal because I want, but I didn't bet a lot because it, you knew. Like it, this is it, so. This is what I really wanted to talk about with this. Yep. Is the UFC has a a boring problem because these champions that they have are not sellable. They're not marketable at all. Kamara Usman, yes, his fight against Colby Covington was entertaining, but when you have Habib and Usman and guys like that that are running your divisions, and they are the guys that take it to the ground all the time, they lean on these guys on the on the cages and whatnot. It is the most boring thing to watch in the history of the world. That Usman Masvidal really fight. I really hate Usman fight. I think oh. the only reason I enjoyed that last fight <clears throat> was because I knew Masvidal really hated him and wanted to kick his ass. And when the, the first three rounds, basically, Masvidal came out just firing with all he had. And, I mean, I said it in, in our group. If, 
if he doesn't knock him out in the first two rounds, this thing is going to be ugly and over. Oh, because, that's, that's what I said on the show last Wednesday. Yeah. You know, it, and we, it, we know that's, yeah. that's part of the striker. That's it. That's part of a guy not being from a training camp. Yes, he said he was in shape and always working, but not not really. Yeah. And Usman is just boring to watch. Oh, he's incredibly boring. It's unbelievable. Joseph Gomez he's said... He's stomping that dude's foot. It was pissing me off. Yeah. Uh, which I saw so many different tweets about uh, uh, ultimate foot stomping championship. <laughs> it just... It, it gets boring, it gets terrible, and it's like, I'm already up at 12.30. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and I'm watching the guy step on another guy's foot. Yeah, this is just stupid and dumb, and, and why is this allowed? Like, uh, Joseph Gomez said, let's drop the cage, throw him in the sand, let's go full Bruce Lee game of death. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, let's go with it. But yeah, I think the UFC needs to figure this out. They've got to change some of these rules around to where they're not laying on them on the side of the cage for an entire round. In multiple rounds, it's it is not fun for anybody. If you get a takedown, then okay. But standing somebody up against the side of the cage is the most well, boring there is the problem. It's possible all, thing. And this is easily fixable. You have once you get locked up, you have so many seconds that I'm going to let you stand here, grabbed up before I'm going to break you. You either take them in a takedown, or I'm going to separate you, and then we're going to restart. Yeah. And you can throw punches, you can throw knees, you can do all this stuff, but we're not going to stay locked up. You're going to get separated, or you're going to take them to the ground. You're either going to do something physically to them, or we're going to take it to, the, or we're, we're going to separate you and restart. Yeah, that's it. Matt Miller said, "I'm waiting for a league that's like modern day gladiators, where you have a fight until you have a knockout or a tap out." Uh, he said, "Obviously, gladiators were to the death, so modern day gladiators." Yeah. So the problem, but here's, the problem with that is without having rounds is once these guys get really tired, it gets super sloppy. Yeah. And you but now instead of instead of having a knockout that might happen in a second round or a third round early, like the way the last minute to thirty seconds of all of these rounds are, you just have that for four or five minutes before somebody just gets caught in something. Yeah. But but it, that would be even more boring. It's the break of the rounds that gives them a breather It is what actually gives you any hope of having excitement. Joseph Gomez said the refs do have the power to do that, even on the ground if there's action, but few refs do it. Uh, and I think no, you did, if, I mean, few, if, if there's right, no action. They have the power to. They just don't ever take it. Yeah, which is absolutely insane, and it kills the interest in the sport. It's yeah. just absurd. Uh, but it was, it was incredibly <laughs> – Ben said, give them nunchucks. Now, and here's the downside, okay? I get it. Like, I hear the argument from the people that are really into this stuff. Okay? The, the MMA purists, I get it. I understand well, the science say, of this. I know. That Usman would then be punished because that's how he fights. Then he's going to have to learn a new way to fight. Yeah. You, you can't that's, just yes, lean on get, somebody. It, it, right now, the rules benefit him. If we change the rules, they wouldn't benefit him. So th that's part of it. He's got to adapt. And, and you need to do that if you're going to keep your sport interesting. Every sport evolves, people, constantly evolves. You it's, always it's, have why, to be it's why the NFL has gone more offense, because they have figured out more points means more well, viewership. Well, and how did they do that? They did it by changing, slowly changing rules to benefit the quarterback. We protect, first, we've got to protect yep. the quarterback more. Well, now that the quarterback's protected more, then we've got to take wide receivers more. So now going over the middle is the super easiest thing in the world to do, and it's the least dangerous thing to do. Yeah. So the whole middle of the field has been wide open. Now less athletic receivers can beat more athletic cornerbacks all day long, and offensively the game has exploded, and your product is amazing. You just tweak rules a little bit here and a little bit there, and 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 all you're doing, you're not trying to help this fighter or that fighter. You're just trying to make all the fights more exciting. Yes, Matt Miller said that's why I hate boxing. Mayweather is the most recognizable, and he is by far the most boring. But he is proper uh, prosperous, so it incentivizes fighting like that. That's the issue. If you see these guys winning belts, Usman and Habib, etc., if you see them winning by just laying on people, taking them to the ground, controlling fights and whatnot, then it becomes where more people are going to be like that. And well, because and you get paid now, more if you're I'm a not champion. against people taking it to the ground. No, no, no. That's, exciting fights that can happen on the ground. Yeah, you can get something exciting if you do yes. that. But, but laying on somebody exciting. on the ground is boring. 
leaning on somebody and just holding them there and doing one little damage move over and over and over again to hopefully get points or stepping on their foot. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, that's not fight. That's not fighting. That's not mixed martial arts. That's not what this is supposed to be. No, it's, it's incredibly boring. I hated seeing it. Um, I did too. It was, it was, I was hyped up about it. I was really hyped. And to see that and to see what we got from, from some of these fights, because even I the exciting ones had really boring moments. Guys who step up to take a fight on short notice. One time I want them to catch somebody. Well, I mean, Nate Diaz never... caught Conor McGregor with, you know, a week's notice. So that that has happened before, which is why everybody looks at it like this. But, it, but it's it, just rare. And yeah, Conor is a different kind of breed. To catch him, Conor taunts too much. I mean, I, I've watched fights that he had one in the bag. Literally, his first Nate Diaz fight, he had – Diaz was as bloodied as bloodied could be, and he was swinging his arms out, not being able to see what he could hit. And Connor dropped his hands, stuck his chin out, and wiggled it at him. And Diaz caught him, and then the fight was over. Well, I mean, I thought, yeah, he took it to the ground. Like that's that's how. Know, so, but he, how did he take it to the ground? First, he has to catch him off guard, and then he now he knows where he's at, but he can't see because he's got blood covered in his eyes. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Connor was you. cocky, so you. I mean, yeah, you do something like that, and that's on you. No, hundred percent. Let's uh, let's close up this show. We're over an hour already, but uh, okay. but man, we had a 